And finally, after worldview, worldview and technology, you want to keep in mind the idea of scientific method. Again, something that most of us are learning in elementary school or our high school science classes. Uh, and indeed, the scientific method runs throughout the university in all its disciplinarities, whether you're doing math, science, um, English, etc. It's the scientific method is is at work. It's what the academy does. Um, but you want to keep in mind the idea of scientific method, right? What is the scientific method? So how does he how does uh, Galileo make his argument, right? So how do, and how does he make his argument so that you know everyone can uh, understand it and everyone can consent to it or agree to it? Okay, that they can they can understand the argument and also um, you know challenge it or or accept it. And so this leads the scientific method. What I just said about scientific method leads to the idea of the text as a democratic text, right? So Galileo is publishing this uh, to the world. Yes, um, perhaps only scientists of the time are reading it, but he is writing it to a general audience, and he is writing it uh, in a democratic way that he's so that everyone can look at it. And the scientific method is supposed to be a democratic method that it's not a method of magic which is only open to the elites or gods and stuff like that it's something that everyone can do everyone can read everyone can work with and argue with and so he is you know presenting this idea um, and it's you know in the vernacular of the time which is another important thing uh, that he's that he's he'll eventually do he doesn't do it with this text but he'll eventually write in Italian uh, not Latin. So think of the text as in, in, in not just a science text, but how is it a, a democratic text, right? Is he, uh, we often have the idea that science is just telling us things and telling us things that we don't understand, so we have to accept it. Fair enough. Is, is Galileo operating in that way, or is he operating in a more democratic way? And finally, Think about Galileo as a capital, the story messenger as a capitalistic text, right? Specifically with the use of the telescope, okay? So uh, Galileo and technology, you know, so technology, science, and democracy as a capitalistic sort of idea is the last thought I'll leave you with.